Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm starting a new series where I focus on the cities around Charlotte, just to give a little breakdown of the housing market along with activities to do and the, anything that you'd be looking for if you're moving here from a different either city or another state. And the very first one we're gonna look at is Indian Trail, North Carolina. And let's get into the video. So the reason I picked Indian Trail North Carolina first is because back in 2018 when my family first moved here, this was our landing spot. It's a very quiet city with a lot of stuff to do and the people are super friendly wherever you live. You're not too far from like downtown Charlotte and you're also pretty close to the South Carolina border. So if you want to go to Carowinds, it's not that far of a drive, just about 30 minutes. It's a really great location and we're gonna look at some of the numbers and some of the stuff that you can do if you decide to move here or visit. First, we're gonna look at the trends. As you can see, year over year, we're down 8.6% with the median house price about $401,000. We have seen that fluctuate. Uh, it is coming down from its highs back uh, from about June of last year. We are seeing an uptick now that springtime is coming. The prices have been getting more elevated and the days on market are getting shorter. Um, as of this recording on March 1st, 2023. So just to be sure when you're looking here, know that it's getting a little bit more uh, volatile, more multiple offers. So that's something you can consider if you will choose to move here, if you wanna do it now in the spring or summer, which is our busiest season. You can also see number of um, homes sold is up 3.1% over the year over year. And the median days on market, which I was looking at a little earlier, is also up as well. But like I said, that number is coming down uh, just because we're going into the spring market and people are getting excited about moving and making sure they get their location picked before like the end of school, if they're transferring to a new job or a different or something like that. Next, we're going to look at demand and you can see that the sale to list price is actually down a little bit. So that means that a lot of people who are listing their homes are pricing it a little bit higher than they should to start and then they're chasing the market down. And if you have any questions on that, you can also contact Kristen or myself and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Uh, the next one is home sold above list price. You can see that it's down quite a bit from last year uh, and home price drops is also up quite a bit. So it just all coincides with um, them putting the list price too high and then chasing it down with, to see where they can actually get the market to come in and look at their house. Um, but like I did say, we have seen an uptick in prices and less on days on market going toward the end of February. So we're expecting the spring market to be pretty hot here in Indian Trail and the Charlotte area. All right, and we're gonna quickly look at migration. This is just showing where people are coming from to Indian Trail. And you can see New York is a pretty popular one. That's the biggest one. Um, also, I think it's just because of possibly like, you know, the, the taxes, you pay a lot more to live in New York. And of course the weather down here is phenomenal. Um, February was one of the warmest months we've had recently since we've been down here. And so far this year, we haven't actually had any snowfall. So if that's big to you also, you gotta know that sometimes we get snow, but there are times where we also don't get any at all like this year. All right, and going down the list, you can see Washington, LA, Boston, and Chicago. If you are thinking about moving, from out of state give Kristen and i a call we do home tours with our great video equipment we also have a drone that we show you the surrounding neighborhood and area and we also do a drive-by with our gopro so you can see like the neighborhood or the streets around there we do all encompass so you guys can know what you're getting into if you decide to move to indian trail north carolina all right so we're going to briefly touch on schools here we do have some fantastic schools around here as well as charter schools and private schools if you're interested but you can also see on this list we have some good elementary schools a couple middle and then a few high schools in this area as well um, if you have any questions on that you can reach out and talk to us but that's what we have here in the indian trail all right we're going to talk about climate just briefly what you can expect here is pretty mild weather throughout the entire year you will get very hot from maybe July, August, sometimes June, where we kind of just stay in the house and there's a lot of warm weather going around. We usually do get some snowfall, not a lot. We are close to the mountains, so if you did want some snow, you can go up there and, and ski if that's your thing. We're also very close from the beach, about two and a half to three hours from beaches, so it's not that far if you want to commute that way. You can also see that it's very car dependent, car dependent, excuse me. Um, so you will need a vehicle to get around. Um, you can do some biking, 
um, but it's only 25 out of 100. So for the most part, you're going to need a vehicle to get where you need to go, you know, your schools, work, restaurants, all that stuff. All right, so we looked at some of the housing market stats and the weather, but now what can you actually do in Indian Trail? So here's a top 10 list of things that you can do in Indian Trail. Wise Anchors Strawberry Farm is really cool. They have, uh, of course, strawberries when it's in season. They also have a fantastic pumpkin patch that you can go to and a corn maze. So that's kind of cool. Cricket Creek Park is one of the best ones in the area. It's got a picnic area. It's got a great playground. You'll definitely want to check that out. Um, scrolling down, we actually have a movie theater that is called Sun Valley 14. It's in a very uh, great area. It's right in the middle. So we have the movie theater and then on either side and in the surrounding area are a plethora of restaurants that are all to die for. I would definitely check that out. Although I am a big movie guy, I do love that. Um, Extreme Ice, which is uh, very nice if you like to skate. I haven't skated in a long time, but um, it's a very fun activity. Another one of my favorites is Trails Dynasty Miniature Golf. So I take my family there quite often. We like to go there. You spend about a half an hour to an hour. Plus they have a little ice cream shop there. So after your round of golf, you go in and get some ice cream and hang out with your family. It's just a really good time. So as you can see, that's kind of like what we have here. You can keep going down the, the list. Um, and Kate Skates is a roller rink, which is really cool. Lots of music. You can also rent it out for events, but that is something that's also very fun that I do take my family to once in a while, even though we're not the best skaters. All right, and that's Indian Trail in a nutshell. I know it's a little bit short of a video, but if you have any questions or comments, you can just call us at the phone number below. You can also email us with, at the email. We'd be glad to talk to you about Indian Trail North Carolina as we've been here for many years. We absolutely love it. Keep an eye out for future videos where I talk about other cities uh, and what they have to offer and the housing market for them. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.